Welcome to the bold analysis. I have just arrived from Kamkunji and I was in Kamkunji shortly. That's the video that I've just shared in this channel. I need to make some very quick observations live from Kamkunji. The turnout in that stadium was actually full. Uh, sorry, this is a video. It's a video protest from Kisi. So the turnout in Kamkunji, that field was full to the brim. And if you check the videos, you realize that um, um, really the turnout was very overwhelming. Railo Dinga arrived there in company of Mwangi Wairia, the same car with Mwangi Wairia. And uh, um, Maina Njenga was also in Railo Dinga's convoy. Um, I've seen, I have not seen Kalonzo Musioka, but Martha Karua led some Samba Samba protests in Kirinyaga, while Oparanya was in the other side of Kakamega. We yet to find out where Kalonzo Musioka was. But I've just received from very uh, disturbing information here that um, Ruto has turned off Facebook video uploads, upload video clips in these groups. Then we can post them on Facebook from Diaspora VPN. Ruto has started um, that. He has switched off Facebook video uploads to hide the world what's going on in Kenya. In the meantime, upload videos to Diaspora uh, what's, WhatsApp group. Then we can upload them on Facebook from outside. So that has turned out that um, there is that information coming out that probably uh, Facebook video uploads have actually been deactivated and of course those who are live you can go live but the challenge is on uploading videos now that is something that has really created um, a discussion in the country with what exactly is happening now if you look at the announcement immediately the announcement was made that uh, people to head direct to cbd to Central Park where Ryla said the meeting was going to be held, I think it might have caught quite a number of government machineries off guard. You know, maybe they expected there would be such a protest, but it was not expected that they were heading to town. Now, this is something is uh, this is something that has really uh, to worry people in this country because we've actually seen in the past where countries like Uganda have always gone dark, where you cannot know what exactly is happening. I want to explain a bit on the decision to deactivate, or rather the media suppression. It's part of the media suppression efforts because I have also seen, um, I've been checking the local media coverage of Kamkunji Rally, and they have only shared clips of uh, speech by Ray Lodinga. But unlike in the past where they normally go live, that Saba Saba rally was not given live coverage apart from other, apart from the fact that Ray Lodinga went live through uh, his Facebook page. And that is the only page that can go live. All the other pages, now if you try, it was not going live. So even there was a bit of that suppression. I want to explain that, why there was media suppression. Um, both social media and the mainstream media suppression on that Kamkunji rally. But allow me to take a minute to remind you about this lady here. We are running a fundraiser to support medical bill, not medical bill per se, but Sarah passed on on 26th and is supposed to be buried on 15th. We are reaching out to you on behalf of the family to help offset um, the medical bill and the last expense. And we are doing a 100 bob challenge. You're reaching out to you from wherever you are kindly let's help and see we started this gen last year and i believe that uh, that is going to be the last expense uh, so kindly let's support there is something that is happening about this the fact that azimio decided to decentralize those protests uh, because uh, there is something happening even mombasa there was in the morning there is kisumu I saw Siaya, my county of Siaya. I saw Kisi, and Kisi has been very epic, guys. I also saw the other side of, um, I saw Kisi, I saw Anyahururu, uh, guys, I think Nderitu Murida was arrested there. We're going to look at a recap of the day activities. And 
I think they knew very well, or rather, um, government realized that when it is given visibility, they are avoiding the issue of it going viral. I have seen efforts to create narratives that uh, the Saba Saba has stopped other uh, activities like school going on, but government realized the state realized that that Saba Saba was gaining momentum and the fact that it was decentralized, it's going to create the picture or the picture will come more clearer that the country is actually protesting. So that is one reason why there was a lot, there was a bit of concerted efforts to suppress media coverage of the Saba Saba. The other second bit that is also sending the state in some sort of confusion here is from what the Azimio team have been saying, there was, and there was rather, there is a plan to ensure that the protests goes beyond today, that the protests are going to be endless. Know that they're going to do it today, then tomorrow it comes to an end. And the fact that it's supposed to continue they don't want it to gain momentum because what would have been assessed today is what would uh, actually um, uh, also depict what is going to be done tomorrow. So they don't want a situation where uh, it's gaining momentum. It's one of the strategies because it's not going to be one off. From what the Azimio team are saying, we want to continue until government listens to the voice. So what they're simply saying here, the reason why there was that media suppression is they didn't want the protest to gain momentum. The other issue on Facebook is the penetration of the aggression against government, especially in rural, especially uh, amongst the youth. Most people that use Facebook are young people and the young people between 17 to 24 and they depend in Facebook for information dissemination. So this is a group that uh, they don't want that penetration because if there are those who are lightly affected, and if you look at the Saba Saba messaging, the Saba Saba messaging is talking directly to the young people of this country that you need to come out and call out President William Ruto on what exactly is going on. So they don't want the penetration of the Saba Saba aggression amongst the youth. Lastly, and uh, this is not least, is the fact that Sometimes when the media is suppressed, it's an opportunity or rather it sends a signal of brutal force against the population. This is not something that is new. Even in the morning we saw fellows being arrested, some fellows being arrested in town. The last protest there was a bit of police brutality and when there is darkness, it even the leaders that are supposed to turn out, people fear because you never know what can happen. How about if a leader is arrested? You know, you have to look at it in different angles that the likelihood of um, state using the dark forces against the population is very high, especially when the lenses are off. When these uh, messages, when this cannot be shared, it is most likely going to create a dark space. And of course, that uses, that creates some fear. You know, people will not come out to know what exactly is going on. You will see the other counties operating. And you know, for this time around, they decided to use a different approach. So it's technically important to note what exactly had been going on. And then that is my take. But I don't know what you think about this because that's a, this is actually a cake. Um, manner or other strategies that are being put because at the end of the day uh, we've seen the police trying to barricade uh, and stop the Azmio convoy that has just left that just left Kamkunji immediately when I left heading back home ladies and gentlemen that's my take but I think I also agree that if you have to share and that is why I think even Robert Alai had realized because Robert Alai shared a number uh, that you can use to share Mandamano videos and photos. They are sharing, is, is, he shared some WhatsApp number and um, I think I should get hold of that WhatsApp number. 
Uh, for those who are in Twitter, you can also check uh, Robert Ali's uh, page. You realize that he has shared, um, they've shared a WhatsApp number and that is supposed to help track what cannot be shared. Because what would it be? You know, last time there was a police information from the police that they were supposed not to share what exactly was going on. Um, and things seems to have turned out CBD Kissy has been hot, guys. Yes, this is the number that Ali has shared. A WhatsApp number 0708677604. Uh, now, I'm sharing this because this is very important. Huh? People cannot, if you cannot upload, then you just need to share the videos. And through that, um, it can come out to... Um, um, it can come out and people can see what exactly is going on. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Let's keep updating. When I come back, I'll give you a wrap up, a wrap of what exactly has transpired in the day.